What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna to be comparing three different graphics cards that if you're on a budget and looking to build a new gaming PC will be your best option hands down. We're talking about the Gigabyte GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, and the 1060. We're gonna compare all three to give you guys a better idea of how each of them perform for the relatively cheap price point that you'd be putting down to pick up one of these. Now while there's a ton of different aftermarket cards out there from like MSI and EVGA, we're gonna be taking a look at Gigabyte's versions here, but it's still gonna give you a good idea of how the variant of the card's gonna perform. The Gigabyte 1050 G1 has two gigabytes of VRAM, has a base core clock speed of 1417 megahertz and a boost clock speed of 1531 megahertz. The 1050 Ti has four gigabytes of RAM, a core clock speed of 1366 megahertz and a core boost clock speed of 1480 megahertz. And the 1060 has six gigabytes of RAM with a base core clock speed of 1556 megahertz and a boost clock speed of 1771. So we're gonna take a look at how these cards each perform in certain games. We're gonna include things like its overall temperature so you can see if it stays cool. And just overall in the end, give you a better idea of how they're gonna perform compared to each other. All right, so I hope those benchmarks helped you out so you can see how each card performs for its average FPS as well as things like including the temperatures and stuff. And I went over most of the you know common benchmarking games to really give you an idea of how it's gonna perform because most of those games are pretty taxing. They're relatively new on the market and they're overall very good looking games, you know, like Battlefield 1, GTA, those games are beautiful. And a game like Ash of the Singularity is just a very taxing game on your graphics cards. That's why I went through and gave you the de entire detailed specs on how it performs on the like ultra high settings to medium to low settings overall. So you can see like the extreme outliers of the lows and the highs for each card. And overall, when you take a look at it, these are just three very competitive cards on a budget. So it's great that you have three separate ones depending on how much money you have. And there's no doubt, no matter what money you, no matter like how much you have, you're gonna be getting the best out of what you buy. When you take a look at all three together, in the end, the 1050, you're getting the most performance out of your dollar spent. So you're getting the most, like the most FPS for $1. Um, if it were up to me, I think the 1050 Ti is a great sweet spot because when you take a look at the 1050 versus the 1050 Ti, you're getting on average, I'd say probably around five to 10 frames more for on average 20 to $30, depending on what aftermarket card you go with. However, there's a big jump between the 1050 Ti and the 1060, usually around what we saw like 25 to 30 frames on average, but the price jump there is gonna be around a hundred bucks. So. Again, for the, the best performance per your dollar spent, the 1050, but if you have an extra 20 to $30, 1050 Ti is great. And you, I mean, you saw the benchmarks for yourself. And even comparing things like um, the temperatures, like Gigabyte did a great job with the cooling on these cards. I mean, with the highest was what, low 60s? That's pretty damn good. And most of the time idle, it was very low. And on average, I think we saw around like a 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. So 
really, I mean, these cards are really impressive. And I'm just very happy that Gigabyte, as well as, I mean, it's not just Gigabyte who has these cards out. There's tons of aftermarket ones like EVGA, um, MSI, all of them out there putting out their own aftermarket cards. I just went with these Gigabyte ones. But it's just so awesome to see the wide range of three different cards on a budget. Like, you're getting so much here for really a very small amount of money considering how much things like the 980 to 970 were when they first launched. So I hope this video helped you out in choosing your next graphics card if you wanna build a gaming PC on a budget. If you liked this video and it helped you out, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.